They prepared for a record storm, but few were ready for the flames. This is Bricktown, New Jersey. Fires, thought to have been caused by gas leaks, were left to burn overnight. Like most areas along the battered New Jersey coastline, sand and debris choked roads, preventing emergency crews from getting in. Its devastation repeated along hundreds of kilometers of coastline. After the storm, people are getting used to areas now left unrecognizable by the fury of Mother Nature. The man that lives in this house is a first responder. He was at the local fire department when Superstorm Sandy came in. He says his neighbor says the water came up so fast it blew that speedboat all the way down to this end of the street. And this house here was only saved from being wrecked by this dock by the rusty brown van. In Mantaloking, Breezy Point, prime real estate in some beachfront suburbs. All of a sudden it came up very fast. And I looked up the street and I said to my husband, I think the ocean is coming down the street. Boats were tossed like toys when the tidal wave surge swamped the area. And beautiful homes left to burn. The tidal surge ripped houses from their foundations. Streets were turned to sand. This is crazy. I've never seen anything like this in my life before. Seaside Heights is a popular holiday spot, but no one here will be enjoying fairground rides anytime soon.